Hello. Time for this week's uh, camera news video. Um, see what happened this week. Oh, Sony released the ZV E102, and that's about the only release I think I've seen. Rico may have released another film camera because they're still making film cameras. Um, but there's a lot of uh, talk, of course, about uh, retro cameras. Um, some um, rumors are that Canon might be in bringing a retro camera, uh, maybe a rangefinder, uh, similar to the rumors about Nikon's ZS rangefinder. Uh, lots of talk about that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, it's been kind of quiet this week. Everybody's gearing up for next week when Canon has their big event. They're supposedly going to be revealing two new cameras. And we'll see what happens. Uh, be interesting to see. And uh, <clears throat> then, of course, a lot of people are talking about the differences between uh, APS-C cameras and full-frame and medium format cameras and micro four-thirds cameras. So I just kind of wanted to address that a little bit in this video, since there's not a lot of news. Um, what those different kinds of cameras are referring to is the size of the sensor. Uh, full frame, which is a little misleading in its name, but it's called full frame because it harkens back to the days of film cameras when 35 millimeter film was the standard. And so the sensor in full frame cameras uh, is that size of format. Now you also have APS-C, they call it crop sensor, uh, whatever, it's a smaller sensor, uh, but basically what it does is kind of like zooms in. So if you're, use, if you're looking at something with a full frame, you'll see this, but when you use an APS-C camera, it zooms in a little bit closer. So that's about the only difference in that. Medium format, um, even though it's called medium format, it actually has a larger sensor than full frame. And then you have micro four thirds, which is probably the least misleading because it is the smallest size of sensor. So that's kind of in a nutshell what it is, but it doesn't really matter in terms of quality of your images because the quality is still pretty universally, you know, the same, just depending on the focal lengths of the sensor that you're using, but the quality of the images is still going to be really, really good. So for, for some people to argue you should use APS-C for video or you should use full frame for stills, um, it's kind of like all the videos that people make about telling you what's the best and what's not the best. This is the best camera for photographers. This is the best camera for videographers. I think it's important for everyone to just kind of you know, make up their own mind. Kind of like in politics, you know, in the United States. A lot of people want to tell you this or that. And I just think it's important for all of us to uh, make up our own minds. I think all educated people will agree with that, wouldn't you? So that's what I wanted to address in this week's camera news was sensor sizes and what those terms mean. It pretty much just means you know, where you're focusing your camera, the size of sensor that you're using, whether it's zooming in or zooming out. That's kind of the bottom line. But the quality of the image in terms of pixel quality and clarity and everything like that, uh, these days, modern cameras, they all pretty much are pretty good. So grab a camera, try it yourself, and see what it's all about. Got any questions? Put them in the comments. Uh, please like and share this video. It helps my channel to grow. And if you're interested in uh, supporting me, please check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash yourartdude. And have a great weekend. Bye.